Hey peeps, it's just Kelly Morgan here, your online pole instructor, no matter where in the world you are, I'm here to help you progress. And today I'm gonna to talk about grip, okay? Because this is something I get told pretty much on a daily basis. And I'm like, Kel, I can't grip on my pole at home, or, you know, I just keep sliding and I'm really struggling. Do you think, um, you know, a silicone pole would be more beneficial? Because I obviously use silicone pole a lot. Um, and the first thing I usually say is like, well, do you, do you heat up your pole? Okay, is your pole nice and warm? Do you heat it up before you... Uh, work on it and I usually get the response I was like what do you mean heat up the pole so I'm like oh you're not heated the pole up that can make a difference now if you are in a warmer climate country you're probably not going to have a clue what I'm talking about because I actually spoke to somebody who was like I've never had to heat up my pole uh it's never got that cool here but if you're in a colder country okay right now in the UK and it's so much colder um and I'll also talk about uh hand grips right anyway let's just talk about the pole a minute you need to heat up the pole okay and what I mean by heating the pole is literally Actually grab the cloth, a cloth, okay, and heat it up, right? Um, you can, I, I recommend you do this as part of your warm up. It's what I do when I any teach any time on a chrome pole. Uh, it's how to heat up the pole. So once you've done like your standard warm up, okay, so you've, you've warmed yourself up off the pole. Grab yourself a cloth, and you can grab onto the pole. You can see it's cold. I've still got a jumper on. You're gonna place this hand up nice and high, so raise up on your tippy toes, and then we are going to do like you can literally do some walk arounds, okay? So you're just gonna walk around the pole, pulling the hip away, allow that hand to come down the pole to around shoulder level, and then we're gonna swap, we're gonna place the other hand up, and we're gonna do the same. So not only are you starting to get create some friction on the pole, that's gonna heat it up. You're also gonna warm up your shoulders a bit more as well, okay? So another one, again, I really like to do is like squat and then body roll up, okay? So you can really work on warming up that body a little bit more, but using the pole. So you're gonna reach both hands up nice and high, feet shoulder width apart. I'm gonna take my butt back and down, slide the hands down, bend the elbows, and then really think about sticking the butt up to down, so you're working through the spine. And again, you can do this, I know, five to 10 times, and then swap your hands the other way. Down and roll, yeah? Does this make sense? You can also then work on some step arounds, still holding onto your cloth. You can place the outside hand across. So you're gonna do a step around, move that hand down, pull back up, do the same the other side, okay? Make this part of your, once you've done your warm up off the pole, make this part of like your conditioning part, to heat up the pole. Then you're gonna be like, ah, oh, now I've got some more grip. And to test it, once you've done that, you can always, depending on your level, you can work on just some static spins and see if you can grip. If you tend to just go from here and then you're like down, you know you probably need to heat up the pole a bit more. Another thing, if it's not super dry now and it's cold, I'm noticing it myself, is your hands will start to dry out, okay? You want to make sure you're conditioning, when I say conditioning, you want to moisturize your hands before bed, okay? So before you get into bed, moisturize your hands, okay? So we can keep them hydrated, that's gonna help you on the pole, okay? Do not moisturize your hands just before you go on the pole. Do it before you go to bed, and then when you get up in the morning, you can obviously wash off any excess or whenever you get back on the, on the pole, just wash your hands, okay? The hydrate, hydrating your hands is important. So if in the summer you kind of use like dry hands or some sort of pole grip aid uh, to stop yourself sweating, that grip aid probably is not gonna work for you when you've got dry hands in the winter. Um, and it's usually because like your, your hands are dry, okay? It's the dryness that's, that's sliding because there's no moisture. Moisture, <laughs> you need to moisturize your hands. I don't forget my words out. So you may either need a tacky grip, but if you just moisturize your hands, each evening that should actually eliminate any problems anyway does this make sense okay uh let me know um if this is helpful uh but yeah make sure you heat up your pole make sure you moisturize your hand now so now we're going into winter and that's going to help you progress with your pole and of course if you still struggle you can get like um silicone wraps you can get sticky leggings there's lots of options for you to still be able to pole and also also make sure if you can heat up your room i know the living crisis is making that a little bit more difficult um but if you can heat up that room and that's also going to help minimize any injuries okay right see you later bye